so remember during Christmas I said I was going to eat lots of chocolates like lots of Ferrero Rocher is it Ferrero Rocher? Ferrero Rocher how is it pronounced? all right let's see again Ferrero Rocher Ferrero Rocher I think that's an English person talking by yeah, the yeah. way let's let's hear the one with the British accent Yeah, that's British, British accent. Yeah, this is the American one. Yeah. Ferrero Rocher. That's the American version. Mm. I think I prefer the American version. Yeah. Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. I can switch accents and I am non apologetic about that. I am proudly Nigerian. It would be nice if I can, but I can't. So, but anyway, as long as you understand what I'm saying, that's all that matters. Ferrero Rocher. I'll be having lots of it for this Easter and I can't wait. Come with me to the shop, let's go shopping. Okay, we're here at the shops now. Gerald went in the trolley because we thought that he'd make so much noise, but he's still making noise anyway. Yeah, he was actually noisy on the day and he didn't want to stay in the trolley, which I think was fun actually. But anyway, yeah, Miga was taking him for rides in yeah. the trolley. Maple syrup, I love maple syrup. I haven't had it in a while. <music> These peanuts are really nice. They're like coated in this crunchiness, but mm. like <laughs> it's really crunchy and it's I really love nice. them. Yeah, I need this cotton pads to remove my makeup. Okay, we were not supposed to buy this on the day. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, trust Lidu. They just bring some random stuff in the store, and we saw this. We've had them before, and we just brought back all the delicious goodness memories. So, I got a lot of them, not really a lot. At least this one will last us for maybe we'll eat it for like two, not two, like three or four times. What do you think, Adele? Yeah, a lot of times. Anyway, that's us running because we we really want to take the car to to Tesco to Lidl. So. Yeah, what happened really was Lidl is very close to Tesco when we shop, so Daddy was paying at Lidl and we decided to run off to Tesco's to start our shopping then, just to get ourselves going and to save on time because. We've spent so much time out already. It's going well, it's fun, but we just wanted to make it a bit faster. And Elsie has been super helpful. She's picking everything, like she was picking everything that we needed, everything on the list. Yeah, Elsie was really helpful during that, whilst um, I was somewhere else doing so. I can't really remember what I was doing. But yeah, Elsie's being the helpful child that she is on camera. <laughs> on camera, what do you mean? Oh, behind the camera, is she not fine? Yeah, she, she is, but you know, mommy is so excited. I can see the excitement. Like, she, she's like a little child. Yeah, ah. I've been waiting for this, like, for a very long time. I get to eat my Ferrero Rocher. And as you know, because it's been Lent, people like Davi have been fasting from beer, meat, fish, like, he went vegan for the whole 40 days so now we're buying and splashing out on all the things that he's been imagining since those 40 days <laughs> yeah that he really did well actually yeah he really did well he did well what are we getting next um porridge porridge and yeah miguel has been disturbing me to get some porridge i don't know what he wants to do with them he wants to drink them anyway we use porridge we drink porridge as um for do you breakfast. drink or eat porridge? You, you, you eat, you eat porridge. Oh, so yeah. You eat. You yeah. chew. You, you, drink. you chew it. So you don't Whatever. Drink it. Anyway. Finally, we finished shopping. Just a few more beep beeps of the. Anyway, we're home now. That was a really, really long shopping, but I think we got good stuff. Yeah, we went to three shops. We went to Tesco, we went to Lidl, and we went to Taddy Market. That's the African shop. This is me back home washing my hands before I start anything. Gerard has finally given in and he is sleeping. Yeah, he was so tired. We had a very long shopping. And this is our kitchen. Our kitchen was not looking the best, but I just had to start cooking. We did like a division of labor. You were tidying up, Mega was moving yeah. things, putting things away. And I just carried on cooking because that was the only way we could get things done. Our because kitchen was like just, it was really messy, but don't worry guys, we tidied it out after. Yeah, we tidied don't it worry. up. It was like a madhouse actually. Because yeah, so it, it was it was really like crazy. Everyone was everywhere. Yeah, but trust me, I like multitasking and we just distributed the jobs and everybody was on top of their own, you know, tasks. And I just got on cooking. This is my 
Nigerian chicken. Doesn't I, it look nice? It looks yummy. I prepared it. <laughs> oh, daddy. Daddy, this was like Christmas for daddy. He gets to eat fish, meat, and drink again. So I'm making his favorite. This is not us like counting calories or anything. We're just eating it exactly how we want it. Wasn't it what happened? Yeah, by the way, it wasn't like Easter or anything. It was like the day before. So we just wanted you to get everything ready. So today I'm going all out with the fish. I've got different types of fish here. And I'm just adding salt. Now I'll be frying it. Put a little bit of salt and that's salt really. Then I'll be frying it. Deep frying it. I know this is not what I would normally do. But it's Easter. Just Easter and I just want I just want that taste, you know. I want to feel that greasiness in my mouth. Then later we'll start our detoxing after Easter. <laughs> and this is Pomo. If you're Nigeria, you would know. So I would say if you know, you know. If so you this don't know, you don't, don't know. No, I don't have to explain this. If you're in Nigeria, you understand what is going on here. Anyway, I've got tribe that is um cow stomach, and I've got um saying it like that doesn't sound like <laughs> no, it <laughs> It's it's really nice, don't worry. Yeah. If you have a try, you'll be like, oh, why haven't I been eating this before? Yeah, I'm just um adding little bits and bobs there. This is me cutting my onions, my freestyle way of cutting onions. Edel, do not try this. Very dangerous stuff. Always use a chopping board. Exactly. Edel will always use chopping board. So I'm doing person. like a chef. But yeah. I use chopping board. But she but, doesn't have the time. She's, but most times I'm she's I just... She's a busy lady. Oh, excuse you. That doesn't mean I don't chop my vegetables or... I'm joking. Yeah, anyway. In the pot, we have the pomo and the rest and we've got my chicken here there's cooking. so much stuff cooking at once i know the chicken and pomo and everything else doing at once we've got four bonnets so what do you expect so i just need this to be you know getting coming out and moving up yummy we've got so much to do so this is the fish all fried up i'm just transferring it to this bowl because the bowl is obviously bigger because I'm going to add some more fish to it. So this is what the fish looks like. Yummy. The daddy could not help himself. Delicious. It's so fried. So like yeah. it's crispy this. Yeah. <sighs> you will see what is going to happen to this fish later. This is our new everything. It just it does everything. I don't need to say anything because it does everything. It does. It everything. chops. It blends. It purees. Like mommy didn't have to chop this. She could have just put it in there, but she wanted to do. It chops everything. It blends everything. It mixes everything. It's it chops. We've already <laughs> said chop. Anyway, what we're basically trying to say is this does everything. It just makes our lives easier. The other day I put um, peppers, like mixed peppers and onions, and I just wanted that, you know, that chop diced. Die, thank you. Exactly. Oh, thank you. They make my life easier. You it's know? school. Yeah. Excuse you. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I used it to chop those peppers and onions. It came out so well, and I cooked a father stew with it. Again, if you know, you know. So. So right now I will start cooking the stew. I'm using the same oil I used to fry the fish and this is going to add so much lovely goodness like lovely flavors to the stew and I'm adding my sliced onions to give it that you know I don't know how to explain this just to caramelize Onion excuse me Onion I'm basically going to caramelize the onions and I've added my blended tomatoes and chili from and the everything blender yes i've added it in and i'm going to fry mm. this fry it until it loses that sour taste this is exactly what i'm doing here Only. i'll keep stirring to avoid burning see how thick this sauce is not sauce excuse me we call it stew, stew in nigeria this is not, not sauce. sauce you cannot say i'm eating making Easter sauce, sauce. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is that can we? Now? No. Oh, we forgot everything that we're supposed to be saying. Anyway, you can see it on the screen. This is turmeric. We've added um so much seasoning. We've added um curry. We've added turmeric. I've just added dried thyme. Dried thyme. Thank you. This salt. Is salt. And I've added. I think that's it. Is it no? No, the cube thing. What's it's it? not cube thing. It's Adele. It's it's near. Near. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adele. This is falling off hands. No, no cubes. I didn't know what no, I, I I didn't know what Maggi and yeah Maggi cubes. It's it's like Maggi, but Maggi is a different brand. No, it's another brand. They are all the no. same thing. But I call it seasoning cubes. That's See, just... we're busy arguing. We have not even talked about the pomo or the tribes that we've added. Anyway. Anyway, just look at this chicken. It's so nice, and the egg too. Like when when it enters the stew, it'll become it won't be white anymore. It'll become soaked in the stew, yes. and then when you bite into it, all the stew will be. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I don't like boiled, boiled egg, but I'm telling you, it'll be nice. Yeah, look at those chicken. Chicken. I didn't say chick chicken. I, I know. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Can you can we just get this done, Edda? Anyway, those eggs will be going into the stew, like you said. Everything here will be going into the stew. It will soak, soak up. up all the juiciness, all the goodness from this stew. And when you bite into it, ah, it just makes oh, you happy. Hallelujah. Okay, look at this stew boiling away there, waiting patiently to absorb all those protein that will be coming in. And right Are you now, doing I'll an be accessory? adding. <laughs> right you're now, you're using so much words. Right now, Edel, can I just say this? Right now, we're adding all those protein we showed you earlier that's the chicken give it a good stir remember you've got the pomo and the tribes the shaki now you've added chicken and you're going in with the fish oh so my much stuff ooh, ooh. this is i don't know just just keep watching really just keep watching that's all i can say at the end of this it's, it wasn't stew, it was like, it was just meat <laughs> and fish. There was no, I, like, there was there was no stew, it was just meat and fish. I know, you're exaggerating now. We still had some liquids, you can see it there. Come but on, at, but, but look at the pot, it's almost overflowing because of the, all of the... But this is exactly how we wanted it. We wanted yeah. to eat because daddy has been starving, not starving, fasting of meat, fasting. fish... Um, eggs just and went everything. vegan basically daddy went vegan for 40 days and 40 nights and this is like giving him a treat as well this uh, miguel we forgot oh yeah miguel. M M miguel went he didn't go without meat yeah no miguel went without meat yeah he was eating fish as a substitute so this this is um, like big for eggs. miguel he was looking forward yeah. to eating this these eggs um. wow they're going to soak it. And remember, we made this too on a Saturday. So then by the time we what? ate it on Sunday, it was all like everything was... Ah, and we prepared wache. Yeah. You can eat this too with white rice. You can eat it with yam, pasta, fat, and bread. Spaghetti. Anything. Spaghetti. Anything really. And we cooked wache. It's a Ghanaian um, recipe with um, rice and beans. And we used the red leaves to make it yeah. and it came out really nice and this is me finished cooking and just relaxing and watching relaxing bgt thank you so much for watching